Oh, they're so, so cute. It's nine o'clock in the morning. And I just got a call from the post office that our coil are here and I can come pick up the box anytime. So we've done a little bit more work to the coop or to the pen. I put this hardware cloth wire all the way around. Because these bars are a little bit too far apart for keeping things out and keeping things in. So now they'll be a lot more secure for them. And as you can see, I've also put some weather wrapping around on, it's gonna be three sides, so far it's on two. This is just some uh, weed barrier, the strongest kind I could find. It's really thick, like a canvas almost. So we've got two sides covered. So if it rains, it won't blow through the sides. And that's about it. We've got our feeder in there and the waterer. So I think we should be pretty much ready to set them inside when they get here. Um, one more thing I'll show you. There were some gaps between where the door closes and where the hinge side of the door meets the other corner. So it was a little tricky. So what I do is when I got to the end, folded it around in a way that it could just close right up against that folded part of it. So that makes a nice secure closed hinge. And that's it. Time to go pick up the birds. All right, we're here at the post office. the box. Sounds like they're alive in there. Time to get them home. Whoa. Hey babies. Oh, they're so, so big. cute! <laughs> See if I can pick one up. Oh my goodness, he just let me pick him right up. Look at this. That's awesome. Hey. You're so docile. Uh oh, uh oh. Can you open the cage yeah. for me? Uh-huh. You're so sweet and docile. I know. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'll get him. I'll get him. It's okay. Here. Here. They're really easy to catch. Here we go. Oh, so pretty. So I never got made a ramp for them to get up into yeah. the upper part, but Let's see if I can look past this. Yep, a little bit. I know. That's awesome. Yep, they drink, they found the water. Oh, good. <laughs> see, one, two. Can't see around right the other side of the
think I'm counting 14 around the feeder. Our first night with the quail outside did not go well. We lost two of them. Um, a lot of factors did not go in our favor. It was a rainy night. There was a lot of rain. The ground was soaking wet and I'm having to make a few modifications to the quail hutch to take care of some of those problems. Um, I'm making some doors to fit on the front of it. Um, they were just so small, they didn't want to run up and down the ramp to get inside um, at night when it was raining and dark. So they just kind of huddled together underneath it to get down in the darkest, safest corner. And um, the outer shelter did fine, keeping the rain from directly hitting the birds and getting them soaking wet. But the, just the fact that they were huddled on the wet ground, they couldn't stay dry. Um, so in the morning, a lot of them were pretty wet. Um, five of them looked almost dead. One of them was dead, three looked almost dead, and another one. Um, three of them looked like they were about, that we were about to lose them, and um, we managed to nurse them back to health, or at least Jasmine did, um, by drying them off. And we ended up bringing all of them inside temporarily. Well putting them into a box, and they've been fine in here for the last couple, uh, for a couple of nights, they've, they've been okay, and so they've been okay, in, oh. we took them out of the coop and put them in this, uh, in a box with some bedding and some food and water overnight so that they can have a, a warm, dry place to stay the second night. Um, while I work on getting this hutch set up so that we can keep them primarily in here at night. Um, and then we'll let them out into the larger pen um, in the daytime when it's good weather. Um, until they're big enough that they're learning to come in and out of the hutch um, on their own. So. I had to take the top off of this and strengthen the upper support a little bit so we have something to hang doors from because that wasn't originally part of the plan. It was just going to be open. Um, but um, this should be a good um, solution, I think, to the immediate problem. So I'll go ahead and finish up these doors and uh, get them all back in, the, in their pen uh, by tonight. And we'll see how everything goes. Uh, the next time. Here's the finished product. All the doors are built and hung on the on the uh, quail hutch. Um, it worked out pretty well. This one, one hinge was a little bit off, so it doesn't quite close, you know, sit flush. But they work. I'm going to have a lock right here, a latch, a slide bolt latch, and that'll hold it closed. This one works pretty well, and I. Put the lid back on, screwed it down. I'll put a few more nails. I have a few small nails that are gonna go down the length on each side to take out this gap here. Same thing on the back. But this is it. This is the new quail hutch. New and improved. We did put the quail out here back on the ground for now. Let's see how they're doing. They look happy. So we'll put them in their hutch tonight and keep them all protected and dry up off the ground. It is raining again, a little bit, 
Um, it's not supposed to rain much tonight, but it should be much more comfortable now. All right. 